journalist opens up over real fear of car bombs after Daphne Caruana Galizia's murder, students camp overnight at university to secure their future subjects, and an interview with Transport Minister Ian Borge. All this and more on today's episode of Love and Day. Good afternoon, good evening, Malta and Goza, and welcome to another episode of Love and Daily. I'm Julian Bonnici, joined with me today is Jonathan Chilia. We've got an action-packed episode for you once again, and really important at the end of the show, we've got a really exciting interview with Transport Minister Ian Borge, talking about you know the metro plans and really Malta's infrastructural future. However, on to our first story, a leading journalist Mark Lawrence Zamit has opened up about his experience dealing with the reality of Daphne Caruana Galizia's murder, particularly as a journalist himself, you know, in quote, and he said, you know, when Daphne Caruana Galizia was killed, I spent a month looking under my car every single morning before leaving my house to work. Um, he was speaking in, a, in actually a new um, podcast called uh, Frequency, where basically they're just going to talk about loads of different topics in sort of a very conversational manner. And um, basically he sort of described, you know, how at the end of the day he sort of knew she was in some form of danger um, leading up, you know, to the assassination, but never really took into account that she could possibly um, be murdered. He said, you know, how shocked he was and for the first month and a half he was extremely worried um, about his own safety. Now actually, you know, Mark Lawrence is is sort of sharing maybe quite a common sentiment among journalists. I remember when it happened, it was something sort of I dealt with also, also myself, you know, being, being um, quite scared. Uh, thankfully, you know, sometimes po some police um, have actually been there and um, been quite helpful whenever a threat um, has come away. How, of course, some others still um, a lot more work to do. Um, in the panel, you know, they were sort of discussing quite a lot of things about journalism, um, including um, NetTV's Christine um, Amira, who basically said, you know, Journalists, you know, people can't forget that journalists are obliged, you know, to ask um, about issues. We're not doing it for ourselves, you know, but we're doing it for society in general. And, you know, it's really important to challenge people's views. Um, I think it's actually a really important debate at the moment. What do you think about it all, John? No, I'm very, very happy that Mark Lawrence kind of opened up about his personal experience following Daphne Caruana Galizia's shocking murder. Let's be clear, this week marks the anniversary since the day that changed multi-journalism forever and kind of had the islands stopping and thinking about the way it treats people who report on things. So it's very, very good. Mark Lawrence, you know, is rising right now on, on the come up. Uh, very, very popular journalist. So the fact that he's shown what he's went through, and let's be clear, Julian, even here at Love of Malta, that day and that week, you know, we were searching under our cars as well, opening doors very trepidatiously. So it was a very, very shocking moment for Malta's journalist. So I'm very happy to see that he spoke about this. And Love of Malta this week will be releasing a lot of content on this theme, marking the anniversary of the shocking death. So definitely stay tuned for more content on this topic. Moving on to the second story, right from University of Malta, quite an interesting incident happened um, this week. So masters of advocacy students were forced to camp overnight at the University of Malta just to make sure they get into the subjects, the elective subjects that they needed to get a future in law. So apparently the students were told that, you know, they were able to apply for these elective units on Monday between 1 p.m. and 5 p.m. However, an administrative error led to students being able to apply for this earlier, leading to major panic. And eventually students got chairs, got coffee packs, packed lunches and camped at university overnight to be first in line so they can sign up for these classes, some of which only accept about 25 students. So a bit of a, a worrying way for you, you know, to kind of get a grip on your future career. Yeah, what a way to, to welcome back yourself at university <laughs> right after um, the COVID-19 pandemic. However, thankfully, it should be noted that uh, Justice Minister Edward Zamit Lewis actually has stepped in and sorted out um, the entire issue. So, you know, Hopefully, no, it doesn't happen again, and it was just a one-off. On to our next story. Uh, the planning authority has halted uh, Joseph Portelli's illegal excavation works in Ala, which were flagged earlier this week. Um, the planning authority themselves actually confirmed that no permit had been issued for the works taking place situated next to a massive um, apartment block in Takassia. Um, a, a PA spokesperson sorry, told um, Love and Malta that all works 
um, on the spot of the development had been stopped yesterday morning and the, as soon as the planning authority was alerted um, and you no know, basically um, said that you know a warning notice has been issued so the development itself is actually being opposed by a number of large a large number of residents civil society groups um, and advocates who have basically said you know um, all concerns about this project in an area sensitive like Ala. Um, the 64 um, flat project has been opposed by the Ala local council amongst a host of NGOs. You can read about it um, all on loveandmalta.com. We've actually covered it really in depth. Absolutely. In fact, recently we launched the Planning Web, which is a tool online that's there aimed to help you understand Malta's construction industry a little bit better. So if you haven't checked it out, do check it out. Moving on to the next story, quite an interesting story. The first ever Daphne Caruana Galicia Prize for Journalism has been given out and it was awarded to the Pegasus Project. So maybe you've not heard of the Pe Pegasus Project, but basically they're a consortium of journalists who actually looked into an Israeli-based national security organization that spied on journalists. Um, you know, they shone a spotlight on kind of what this Israeli group was doing, and they've now been awarded 20,000 euros as prize money, as well as a token and, you know, recognition for their work. Now, this is just the first time that this prize has been given up for journalism. It's a new prize just announced um, over the last few years. And it's good to note that this project was led by Forbidden Stories, who have been uncovering thousands of stories worldwide. So definitely, from here, everyone here at Love of Malta, shout out to Pegasus Project. Well deserved. Yeah, and a really good initiative from the European Parliament in general. You know, it's actually, you know, nice to see Daphne being recognized that way and actually, you know, her work being celebrated you know, with other people's work and, and continue with um, investigations. Just so a little small tidbit, there were actually some Maltese finalists in the shortlist, in, uh, shortlist including Jacob Borge from the Times of Malta um, on his story about all who the owner of Magbridge is. So really interesting um, stuff. Um, check it out on loveandmalta.com if you want to see the full ceremony. Um, on to our last story, um, a really positive, positive story. Um, Lutsu, a groundbreaking film exploring the lives of you know, Maltese fishermen and really you know, what it actually means Maltese is heading to the Oscars after Malta, has, um, after Malta officially selected it um, to fee to, as its nominee in the Best International Feature Film at the 94th edition of the Academy Awards. Now the acclaimed film has gotten rave reviews and not just in Malta but also abroad. It was actually one of the standout films during the quite prestigious Stand Dance Film Festival with its lead actor, Jesma Shikluna, who is a fisherman, by the way, and um, nabbing Best Actor um, for his work in the role. Now the movie, if you haven't seen it yet, I really recommend you to watch it. I think it's still showing um, at the moment. It's a really beautifully shot tale, telling, you know, a multi-story. You know, we always see American stories. We're always watching Netflix mm -hmm. and stuff where really we really hear, you know, our own stories. It's actually really important um, to learn about our identity. Now, Lutz has a lot of um, hurdles to go through before making the final list. Um, it's been submitted. Every country in the world is allowed to submit at least one film. Now, in December, it will be narrowed down to 15 and then narrowed down um, to five um, in eight, on, eight sept on 8 February 2022 before the final Academy Awards. Really exciting, John. Have you watched it? No, I haven't seen it yet. I've seen clips. I've seen trailer of it. It looks incredible. I think anyone that's interested in cinema, film, anyone interested in Maltese content and Maltese products needs to see this film. Like you said, I think it's still in cinemas right now. Um, but, you know, going to the Sundance, now going to the Academy Awards, it's an incredible moment for Maltese cinema. Definitely give it all the support that you can. Now that brings us to the end of the first half of today's show. We're going to cut to a quick video of Love Amata's social media awards. If you have not voted yet, make sure you get your vote in. You've only got a few days left to give a shout out to content creators in Malta and Gozo making an impact. And after the video, when we're back, we'll have Transport Manager, Minister Ian Borge in the office with us. <laughs>
back on Love and Daily. Today we've got a very special guest in the building, Transport Minister Ian Borge. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you, John. So I have to ask you, you know, on the drive here, did you encounter any traffic or anything? Lum, leh. Ma ma fisushle ma yestish traffic is very. Tlaat me lufitio. Check out Google Maps. Use Google Maps. Only thirty-one minutes, and it was thirty-one minutes. Is very. Pero. Yeah, sfida. Ti cha la me posta li orf malta. In fact, that's what I wanted to speak to you about today. So the metro. Finally, we've seen public plans about it. This is a project that, you know, we've been hearing about for years. It's all been very much up in the air. You've come out now with your ministry and put out concrete proposals. You've shown actual renders of what city town squares will look like um, with these metro entrances in them. So let's talk about the metro, you know. So the proposal sees three lines across Malta, 25 stations, costs over 6.2 billion, as far as estimates are right now, could take 15 to 20 years to build. First phase could be ready in operation for between five to eight years, over 35 kilometers covered. This is a major project, you know. Do you think the metro will actually become a reality in Malta? It depends on the Maltese. It depends depend on the Minister or the Prime Minister or the Cabinet. It depends on the people or on the people who are discussing this. We have done this study, and we have done this study. We have studied the study of 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 the اللي يوتلينيا البازيكو، pero إن بعد البوبليك عينا اتلت مت باجنا ترى بورت دتالياتي، إن إنجينيرينج وأركيتكتشرال ريبورتس فو البروجيت. خط ما كين سيركون كباشي خالصو يكمش الجوفرن بيجي كون هم دسكوسيوني بسخيتا. إسا داك الرابورت اللي مويش لوبينيوني تي أي يو شنو بريفيرين و رابورت على سبيرتي نريد نتكلموا و نحسب اللي in the last 10 days كانت دسكوسيوني ماتورا كونستروكتيفا انكلوس من البارتيتي بوليتيتي لوحرين و من السوشيتا تشيفيلي شورتا كولوك فتتني سي اللي تعمل شي تعمل ديم كونترا pero ما نيش نعطاو قلبنا اللي جي دار بايكو لنا ترانسبورت تاع المحصا نريد نتكلموا و اما نريد نتكلموا يكوش اللورا كونتنتي اللي تكون مترو تحت الارض يكوش يكوش 25 stations, يكوش less, يكوش more يكوش خانان تزقوراو اللي يكون sustainable و feasible قاليش تبدا تسمع بروبوستي اللي الاسبرتي يفالواو اما يكونو قالو اسمع مو مش فيابلي فورسي احنا ريتو لا مش حاجة مش فيابلي ما نافش جفيري نستقسي بريزم بيوتا عودش و فوستي تهرين الرابورت ييت قاليش Yes, uh, and we'll talk uh, about the report soon. Uh, but. But what do you think? Do you think Malta should have a metro, personally? I personally think that the one that we had, the one that we had, which is not the one that we had, the one that we had, the one that we had, and 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 the one that Forse kello mraġuni jittaħħu, imma kieku għahna flajna f-pajjiz fejn għahna stajna nimxu sal pjazza tarraħal, ninzlu fl-station, umorru l-universita, umorru l-belt, umorru baċi bil-bil-bil-bil-metro. Kem kienet tkunik tarfaċ laħajjitna, kem kem kienik għalna esperienza differenti tal-mobilita fil-pajjiz, ċfiri jiena nixtiq nara trasporta l-massa, ma naħxsibx jilli din xaħġa, mux ma naħxsibx ċert li ma tiddependiċ minni, jemin, لو انا تقدر نتكلم في فلوس جوار ولا لو ردوا ندا شيء دو يك وش في قبل اللي نعملوها، pero هم بتهم بريتسي هور اللي تايب نزوم في هنا شنو البريتس اللي اتفعل تانا ودوك تورينا سير خلصوا يك احنا ما نعملو شيء بقولت قبلنا. interesting okay now economically speaking and also socially as well. I want to talk about the future effects on on future generations, but before that, let's jump into the report. So very detailed, but there were still a lot of important parts of this report and the studies missing. You know, we didn't have a geological study, yes. um, environmental impact assessment. Then you had people like the superintendent of, for cultural heritage saying that they weren't even consulted. Um, isn't this kind of adding obstacles to having a metro in Malta? No. Well, net down my study, Limis. لقيت يجو ايدنتيفيكاتي من اروب وقت يدو اسمه احنا 
qed nissuġġerixxu li jekk intom tixtiequ tkomplu taħdmu fuq il-metro rridu nagħmlu l-geological studies, il-surveying biex naraw l-archeological remains u nitkellmu mal SCH u anke u anke aspetti oħrajn bħal bħal IA, bħal environment impact assessment. Ovvjament dawn jiswew miljuni, speċjalment il-geological surveys u studies, jiġifieri e naraw irridux inkomplu mixin il-quddim. U jekk se inkomplu mixin il-quddim, dawn l-studies għanna bżonna. U uħat muħajjad deċi deċejn għabel daw l-studji isiru għalix this is a major a major change għifiri il-pajis jimbidel totalment għalura daw kuma importanti biex biex isiru imma daw juħol il-fat li daw nadom ma sarux daw juħol u ċertu unknowns u daw kla unknowns u ma factored fil-contingency ta 45% inkluza fi 6.2 billion. Ok. Now, the... The more studies are carried out, u għallura l-unknowns jieċkienu, emmek il-prezz jibda jisir iktar reali. U għallura il-45 tibda nizla, u il-prezz jibda jieġi jizek kristalizat. But isn't this, you know, just giving your opposition a chance to attack you on this? The fact that you've come out with so many important studies missing. Jekk se jattakkaw, li l-na jistaw jattakkawna li għamilna l-studju jew li l-min qabbadna s-salaru pijan aqsef number one engineering and architectural firm in the world jifiri ma jistaw xie jattakkaw li li jew li l-gver fuq il-kontenu t-tarru jimma naħdim xma l-arru jek l-arru u l-esperti għandom dizin, għandom proposta li ma taħmil x-sens għen il-diskutu ma l-arru mix kustjoni ta' di mix blu jew aħmar aħna Ressaqna l-esperti il-quddim biex jistudjaw, xallas nijom min flus il-poplu, xallas nijom min flus il-poplu. Amlunna rapport, s-sejjan il-diskutuħ. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but the studies were completed back in February. Why the gap? Why did it take so long to come out? L-ewwel draft, sanzi, kienu moti għalil na snini lu, pero, il-diskussjoni jiet ma transport maħta baqa għaddejn, tawna laħħar versions ftit tal-ġimati lu, diskutej ta' kabinet, grup parlamentari, u uħriġ nja għansiħ ridna nħorġuha li ma titħolġ f-kampanja elettorali iġifiri għana fadha l-tmint xur għal-ġunju l-mandat elettorali li għandu dan il-partit fil-gvern u għardnix li tkun f-manifest elettorali li tispiċa għobba għalun politiku iddar barħaf 2017 il-Part Nazjonalista kien poġġa an outline a very high level outline ta' metro u spiċa għobba għalun politiku Għawne għanna studji serji, niddiskutu lilom, muġ biex aħna nirbħu l-punti għalli nerġu għankunu fil-gvern, jaw biex nuqodu najru l-nazjonalisti, niddiskutu, u mħat narawi, forsi n-nies tibda l-femta, pero jenni rritnajt il-li kienem a very good feedback u support bsaħtu li dal pajis għandu bżon xiħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħ
għattu lo maċiċ, ma bħajtu xti lajna jenna għatt tal-rabat, tal-imġar, tal-mellija. U bħdew jispiega għalif u topografija tal-pajis. Il-livelli ma jamluħx fizibil illi jinti testa tibqatijela f-ċertu postijiet. Għifiri jem raġuni u ma jatu raġuni għal-kollox. Taċċet taħħaj u ma taċċet taħħiċ dikja storju uħra. Pero, l-importanti għal jenna studju dettaljat. U unaħseb li jenna a healthy discussion għaddeja. A national discussion mux politiċizzata u għankajjen illi jena ma tanċi jena wieħet li l-affarijiet inħalli jom cool, jena jidu unki fili, għibjir inħop. Getting things done, right? Li, u inħop, u inħop, u inħop na argumenta, għankajjen għet naħmel il-parti tijaj, kifa għandu jkun, għibjir għtnejt il-ħat jied li graċi. Illi ma nedħolx fil-narrativa u fil-petenes politika, fim, tijġifiri, we have good reports, let's discuss them. U mux jien, jenniċ ti, nisma, mu nijes l-esperti, l-enġinira maltin, il-periti maltin, il-kull min għandu ideħatu. Forsi n-iddeċidu li ma namlu ġej, forsi n-iddeċidu li namlu light metro, jaw light rail, overground. Jaw n-iddeċidu li namlu il-mas rapid bus. Ġibiri, ejja, ejja n-kuplu d-diskutu. Unatu s-submissions. U sar n-kunu għedin analizzaw u n-iddeċidu n-bad fil-imkien. So let's talk about, you know, if it does happen, the reality of the day-to-day. So annual running costs are estimated to be about 30 million a year. Would this be a state-run metro? Would it be a private-run? Would it be a private-public partnership? Are we at all considering this at all? Dik ja parti u kol min deċizjonit li eventualment jidu namli. Ġifiri l-esperti għajdu usma. Kien hemm min għvernijiet li għabdu l-developers jamlu design and build. Kien hemm min għal isma design, build and operate. U kien hemm min maħra l-model ta design, build and operate and finance. Ġifiri ima kolla għandom il-pros and cons. Ġifiri As in, is there one that you prefer? Is there one that you think might be the best one at this stage? Le, minnix pozizjoni li nejda jena. Nkun prezuntus jek nejt li jena ne preferi wahda jew mux l-ohra. Fil-fat naħseb illi emmu kol l-umbad diskussjone b-saħħi ta' li t-issi fejn rridu naraw il-pajis. Per eżempju, u ma jatu eżempji fil-rapport taħħu mi jajdu għara. Jek kinti sert xalli l-operatur jiffinanzja li l-un nifsu, inti tista tikkonċe di l-u li għamel ċertu development fej li stations. U ta' u eżempju, u kien net fil-media, għalu isma da xħaj jġri Pembroke. Pembroke, ja, bezzat. Ma ta' u ma li deħat taħħom, mu mix li deħat tal-gvern, li endorsja jew li briefja jew fit terms of reference tal-gvern, u jina man kunx professionali jek man ħal jom xiamru xolom, san bat nista najt. Jie, ma naqbilx maħħa. Per-exempju, per-exempju, deklerja skont il-local plans ta 2006 ija designated biex ikun hemm nsejt kem solari ma housing. Ġibi, il-lum il-local plan hemmek jajt li hemmek il-gvern għandu jitalla housing housing estate fil-Saint Andrews Luxor Grounds. Taqbel ma taqbilx jiena naħseb illi la id-dizin ta' ċertu Bini għu li jesa ġerratu, no, għas il-housing estate mu għajdeja għali għalemmek. You know, this actually leads to the next question. So, I'm from Mosta, I live in Mosta. I was looking at the plans, the renders of where these entrances to the metro would be. The one in Mosta takes up the bundle, the garden behind the Mosta dome. So, it seems like we'd have to sacrifice this one little garden we have in Mosta center with the playground for an entrance. And it's not just Mosta, many, many towns. Baluta Bay, you know, that little garden there would become the entrance. Are we ready to sacrifice, develop these little gardens, little green lungs in so many towns for these metro entrances? I think it's fair to make the mistake. I think it's fair to make the project that we have to make the zone of the area that we have to make the zone of the area that we have to make. بħal slim għand gzira frant, bħal tiq santanna, u postijiet uħrajn, iġifiri li tajt illi aġġġej li station int għettitle fil-spazju, naħseb illi dan għal veru 
بروجيكت اللي قال فتيت اللي تتلف خاطر بخا في نايزيت اكثر خسبت خاطر هاي اللي ياك تستاش تعمل مترو ستيشن ما جنب الموستا دوم But surely we're going to give up the playground like according to the renders at least the playground's gone Either either the most uh, options um, you know, I don't like you know, except the kick we see the project I call the half is yes, but see vain in Kunus town on the playground um, Il less feed a less feed at all tal stations and by easy less all very well and then see how she tell us per esempio can empire easy li il metro stations on law fill private buildings in the camel dar bus cfr will metro station or affect your shopping mall this is an option this is an option it's an option but what i'm saying like you go arab i'm not dick u ħarġu bil-proposti illi jitfaw lek station ġodak il-shopping mall u station ġodak il-tower ġomalta u ġeġin ġodik taħseb illi kiek u ma għamx ma għamx pandemon juskiħ ġifiri transport mall ta' kienet intelligenti meta talbet lill-arub juzaw bis government land għalix issa dik mistoqsija ta' jibamma għanna namluħ fil maġem pil mosta dom jew għanna namluħ ġo shopping mall illi jem il mosta ejja namluħ għan man bat tajdu liħx isma għal ġo da shopping mall u ġo da ni shopping mall jew ġo da supermarket u ġo da supermarket il mosta jġu nifu muħħit la supermarket isma how much fimt iġifiri meta tkun jiet tiddeċidi you have to make a selection somewhere at the end of the day fimt allura naħseb illi di cleanest kienet isma uza u bis Government owned land. How much would a bus ticket cost? How much would a bus ticket cost? How much would a bus ticket cost? Do we know how much a ticket would cost? The metro ticket, roughly, one euro, five euros. Do we have a ball range at all for how much a typical trip on the metro would cost? If I'm, ah, na na fu, she saw metro metro to Zahbara in Malta. Oh, na mah nish elin nivin ta marrota. Jiri, el metro, he la tezisti. ma dwar l-Europa kolla, u l-bulietti kwazi kollu ma simili. ġifiri, jisa, dikija għad eġizjoni għara, u l-gvern jistajt jina għan il-sussidja, jina mux għan il-sussidja, jina għan 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 jew jekk nistax insuq għalla Arab Station u kem sa jikun il-prezz tal-metro Absolutely Mala dawn u koll irridu irridu nipruvaw nifmu għana u jem un batan ke xoli għor li jista jisib bix nifmu l-poplu malti xia ċetta xlest jamel il-abza u l-bidla xinu l-acceptance tal tal-poplu ta' għana bix jivjadġa bil-metro u bix jimxi Per esempio, bi xim xie kienu għat jajdu li li jinti meta ta' qbesa monta metri Mux, jinnis mux sejmxu You lose interest, I'm not surprised at all, I'm not surprised at all Jek jinti tkun to qot inna ħata z-zokrija u jinti għandak l-station fej l-knisja It's a problem ħat imxija, ħata qba ti skuter, ħata qba t-karot saw toħlo parking issues fej l-knisja So, right now, obviously, we're seeing major push with the metro outside the Valletta you've got the whole stand explaining everything why now is it because an elections around the corner later you very you know he was a disaster for parliament oh cool budget liam and i don't know jail election um but for example you can have an ali and marsa junction as if tata sent a new of that is a Tħi fili, taħi wadi, jina, ftaħt proġet kul sena, jew kul xar. Tħi fili, atma għatni kalkula wadaġi għal elezzjoni. So on the topic of the election, right now everyone's saying 27 November, but that's what we're hearing about. Is it happening 27 November? Eba, din nintu maħd nintaħi du, għaj, tħi nintaħi taħi da, jina. Lots of people are telling us that. Għanaj, lek jina, 
daqsek naf, jena naf illi għanna mandat sa third June next year. Il-kabinet u l-grupp parlamentari għadu għaddej u sar jib għaddej b-mot normali ma naf xejn li jinti ma tafx dak li instanaj li So before we jump back into transport, I did want to speak to you a little bit about elections as well as your personal, you know, political political career. So, um, you know, when we had the PL leadership election um, a couple of years back, you know, you were one of the names brought up um, mm. regularly. Um, do you regret not contesting <coughs> the Labour leadership? No, you know, you know, Hasseit li kine min et fosizjoni ahir min nisa bishi meshi il pa'is, ali shemme kellek decizjoni bishi meshi il pa'is. Mux tmix pexxi partijt fl-oppozizjoni umbat jara u n-nies, inti l-għada xassir pre-ministru. Jena għaddik il-deċizjoni fl-imkien ma' l-familja tijaj u ma' jid-dispeċi nix illi xatta. Għalix kontent kontu kontent għadni naħdem bħala ministru importanti fil-fil-fil, mux jien importanti. Il-rol illi għandi, il-xol illi għandi u importanti għal-ħidma ta' għvern. So you have overseen some of the biggest projects Malta has seen, you know, Mars to fly over, Central Link and Attard right now as well. Over the next... Update with Central Link. Right now I'm living in Attard and I can tell you for the last three weeks my road was ripped up and destroyed, there were holes everywhere. Now it's nice, but to get there was a bit of a struggle, you know, our cats weren't very happy. But <laughs> enough of that. Over the next five to ten years, you know, kind of what do you see some of the key issues that if you remain in politics you'd like to tackle, you'd like to see addressed? Be it in transport or otherwise. In the country, we have a number of issues. 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 U naħseb illi xatt aħjar min Robert Abela u Clyde Karwana ma jista jamel dan when it comes to the good governance and grey listing and so on. Għiviri dika naħseb illi ija priorita assoluta u għet jisir biċa xoħol tajba. Għanna u ddimna u koll sfidi ekonomiċi għalix issa id-dinja edat xos l-leffet ta' għara l-pandemija ġifiri prezzijt ta' shipping madwar id-dinja prezzijt ta' l-enerġija madwar id-dinja big issues u down għalix kollox għandu bżon l-enerġija u kollox jirti ċaqlaq bit-transport għallura il-goods u services jolew u għallura dik toħloq l-inflation ġifiri meta tannet jiqodu jajdulek u l-alħalib jiwalet il-hobza għalix min jammel il-ħobza jew min jiproduċu il-ħalib għandu bżonje u l-enerġia jew il-transport dak li jiddependi min Malta il-gvern għati għame partit jaw dak li jiddependi min l-level internazjonali il-gvern għandu l-limitazzjoni xie jista jirrestringi u jibbaferja You have some ideas for international shipping? I mean... Għan għedlek jina niddiskuti ma' sħabi muġ bis kristjona ta' shipping imma anke ma' l-ministru Silvjoċ kembi u ma' l-ministru Mirjam Dalli Flim kien, ovjament, ma' klajt karwana, għali x dimmi x kwestjoni ta' taqba t-toħroġ iċċekkijiet. Kifet na' għalik dimmi għal kwestjoni internazjonali. Nijgu pjaċir na' raproposti, għanka bħal l-oppozizjoni, bħal ma' għamel Jason Atso Pardi, u il-gvern naħseb li għanka fil-budget ta' numru ta' mezuri kif jassisti lill-industria, lill-daw kill ħajn tlaħtu, bħot partikolari lill-zejr lill-nis n-ġenerali l-familji ma' t-inoġi. Now, Well, I, I want to talk about the budget a bit. Obviously, we had the budget um, this week, and I think one of the main proposals that everyone was talking about was free bus transportation as of next so, year, um, which, you know, obviously affects you. So, first of all, like, will you be using the bus now? You know, at the job, the parliament, the interview with the media, the Zohra, this is the fascia tanis. Madwar l-Europa kienem il-riċerka u dik il-riċerka totta li jina u koll. Illi meta nti ta' għamel transport publiku bxejn u ma jamlu x-shift. Min di ġa għat jekk naħzbu li għax il-transport publiku se jisir bxejn kull ħat se juza transport publiku jħalli l-karotza d-dar jew bixi l-karotza jw jiskrep rekordza jinku unu etnit kub xurxi. Jina di għamat tista toġbok, tista ma toġbokx. 
però nemmen li din il-verita, li nemx inizjattiva jew proġett wieħed li jisolvi l-isfidi kolla ta' transport, għal ura nna bżon min kollox, mix importanti, mor investment in infrastructure to tackle the bottlenecks and road safety and efficiency, free public transport, għara li konna diġa etna tuħ l-zzaza, l-personu zabita u l-lanzjani, iktar sea transport, ferries, iridu naraw il-li minirit jimxi jaw minirit jivjadġa bir-rota intuħ l-inċentivi u etna tuħ l-inċentivi l-minirit jiċi rota, cycling lanes li etna amlu, etc. etc. u u aspetti uħra bħal mas transport u diskussjoni l-qedin l-diskuzi. ġifiri, li inti tuħroġ taħi taħra jiena rrit li kul ħatti suq il-rota mux sess il-realta jiena 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 u ma taraġi zjekka roza, inkunu etnitku bin-nies. Iġifiri, il-free public transport seri kun iħat jiġbet fasxa ta' nies. U għallura issa għanna bżon nistudjaw sa' ottubru, għalek ottubru, u mux next week, next month, next first January, you need time. So that you don't get it wrong. And I tell you why you don't want to get it wrong. Inka ta' switcha, bħal maġar bħal riva. Iġfiri, taħjef jew ħazin il-nies, fuq dawk il-karozzi l-antik, il-sofor u l-ħodor, tifta karonti. Taħjef jew ħazin, nis kienu għedin jivjaġġaw bijom. Forsi, kull tant isibu xiexu fiħri li kien għabbizi jilom. Ima kienu juzawom il-nies. If it showed up. Kienu juzawom. Aħseb għara bħal riva. Dik, it never showed up. Mekkun batsa rrebus. And... Basically, il-public transport tilef anke, dawk li kienu diġa juzawħ. Mela, marridu xin ġibu di ħazina, għal iċ jekk inġibu din ħazina tal-free public transport, nitilfu anke, dawk il-50 miljen pre-COVID numbers, illi juzawħ tal-linja l-lu. Mela, l-lura għanna bżon, sa' ottobru biex naraw, kem naħzbu li ħat izdit il-patronage tal-nis li juzawħ. Xandek bżon izzid pala basis. If you need to tweak the network, the routes, the frequency, and then you start all the logistics to implement it. If you feel like I like much level time, I should go. What am I doing? Much level time? Listen, I like much. Ha, ha, I'm blue. She be just level time. Zaira, at night, do you think all Malta will be eligible for public transport? Am I knowing that much all Malta has to say? Mela, Kim. Kem għanna bżon basis, xirridu nzidu, fejn diġa għedin fulla pillu. ċifiri, dawn għan nista għasidu. Will ferries ever be free? Dini ja fuq il-basis. Miġifiri, mux sanu għat nilablek maħħa. Il-kver nista eventualment jikkonsidra. Diġa għu maħ interlinked bil-platform tal-linja. U għet jintu zaħu ħafna. Hopefully one day we will be rich enough to give it for free as well as a country. <laughs> so, you know, a couple of weeks ago on Daily, we had the representative uh, from Rota, um, which is a bicycle, so. a cycling organization. And, you know, he, he, he spoke to us <clears throat> a little bit about the challenges they face. I think you kind of touched on it a little bit before with Arup telling you, listen, there are geological realities of the island. We have hills. We have heat in summer as well. Mm. Like, honestly, do you ever really see a functional national bike system being utilized and is feasible across Malta. I know a couple of years ago we did a lot of work in Tal Balal just for cyclists to come out and criticize it. Yeah, Will we ever see a national usable bicycle system? Jena naħseb illi kull ħatta għandu e kollu ċans li fittex u jara xandu bżonna li hennifsu. Iġifiri, jena niħu pjaċir naħra, jena naħad dingli, u mkun ħaddin glim il-rabat u naħra ħafna nis u jena ekkont naħmel illi juzaw juzaw il-rota waqt li għedin jamlu il-qaddi jittaħħom fil-firraħ u fjament ikun emmin jibżan bat jisu sarrabat bil-rota jew iktar l-isfel aħna għetna għamlu infrastruttura tajba per-exempju Center Link għamilna 4 kilometers 
cycling segregated min rabat salemlie jifi ixxol għati si issa jekk titti kritikana u tiqa fem mux problema imma dik edem kul xat jista jara xaj jifi mustax tajt li mamil masariċ bizzejjet ma naħsibx tu bizzejjet imma miħx kustjone bis ta cycling lanes kif għetta jitint per ezempju għaw nekk għedin la fin muħta jgħu il-ministeru tijaj jġibi il-workstation tijaj għu il-workstation tijaj għanna xawer sal minnu tijġibi l-ruota għu xħasel għanna ma għannix mela l-public buildings għu min għandu mi kunu il-stations l-ohrajn għandu mi kunu bħalla fin muħta għu jkollum jġibi fil-policies tal-planning meta jtibnu issa uffiċini u torriet dawn għedin jizgura għu li jkollum xawers, dressing rooms, għal-ministru, ruota. Issa, jekk tajt li jifilni. Il-pajis uwa, 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 għandek għafna sħana, uwa, fattu, għiviri, għemċertu sfida. U mux kol ħad sejkun jistaj suq il-ruota, għiviri, bħal mux kol ħad mux sejr kept għal-linja. U mux kol ħad jistaj għabat il-feri, għiviri, So, moving on to the next topic, and you just mentioned a little bit, Central Link Project. Right now, it seems that Pretty much every town, many, many streets, there seems to be a lot of inf infrastructure works going on, you know. I'm in Moss, I, I live in Mosta, and the main road has actually been flipped for, for works to be done. Um, I'm living as well in Attar, the Central Link project's happening. Can't, can't post it, it's crazy, isn't it? Um, <laughs> and you see oh, firsthand, you, know, so you see firsthand, like Attar recently, like I said, it's finished now, so I yes. will give credit where credit is due, and it moved very fast, but for three weeks, you know, you'd wake up a road, it's one way today, then it's one way the next day, then you can't go down here. Is, was it required? Is it important? Was it essential that practically <coughs> every town had some form of infrastructure project happening over the last few months? We have to say that we have to upgrade infrastructure. The infrastructure is not a good thing. The infrastructure is not a good thing. It is a very good thing. Sewage systems, water systems. It is not a problem. Ikun u għaddejnu, forsi dak li ikun ma ikunx għet jarom, jekk ma jqtux lilu. Jema, għandek ċertu postijiet illi kellek dawn l-sfidu kwa. Unbad għandek għaffarijiet uħra ta' road safety. Per ezempju, l-imġar bypass. L-imġar bypass, miet u t-minja min nis. Allura, kif tista ma tamil xeħħħġa sabbju xemmek ma jeb għawx isiru accidents. Issa, meta tamil il-concrete, il-concrete, barriers fin nofs ikun għam min jajd lak koroħ bil-respet kollu l-importanti li sejf but I mean listen last time I went to Imjar I'm gonna be honest the road felt more unsafe than ever before I was driving nearly hitting the wall on one side imma lix għaddejn iċu għali jitu ezzat but I mean we're lucky that we haven't had a fatal accident over the last three weeks there it seems very precarious when you're approaching road infrastructure għand ek s-signage there's suq bit 30 km per hour Unista nassigurak, li ġoka roza, mux fuq e-scooter, għax fuq e-scooter 30 km per hour, tkun għat it-tir, ma ġoka roza b-30 km per hour, ma taħbaċ, għat ma taħbaċ, issa jekk inti in your right is science, what date b-60, għandak iwa, tirin graħsja l-għal li maħbaċ. Għatti fil? So... Oh, man, yeah, the profit is really 60, right? I'm telling you, listen, the Maltese roads, sometimes I think about the cyclists, like, I'm scared to drive on the roads in my car with other drivers, not because of the road, with Maltese drivers. I can't even imagine what the cyclists must be facing. But yes, okay, so, would you have done things differently over the last few months? I mean, obviously, we had people coming on Facebook saying, oh, my God, power cut here because of works, or in a clean, there was a story recently where they had, spent months to do some works, and then they had to remove it just because there was a water culvert issue. Imma jekk għun għam water culvert issue. Mux water culvert issue, kallek persona li min ħabba lix dik lix ju spiċa wedġa, motorcyclist. Għifiri, jekk kallek, jessaj ma marrix ni preġu dik għal-kaz, jess dana għam kasfu, jifiri, ma jekk għandek prodot difettus, jess ta' għamil ma tibdluċ. Għax xħad xħaj uħti għerger li reġaw ġaw għal ħaddima, u zgur li tibdlu. Tala, it-tri u tibdlu, u jiddun kamem bżon sa kamem kun sejf. Għax għaj min flaħar min laħar, mux l-importanti li dak il-grid ġi sejf. Naqblu jaw ma naqbluċ. Absolutely. Iġifiri, aħna 
vero kur hati li të të rëzjetet feqen të haqë orë, ma nakse lukta importante li kur hati jasal sejfu kollu. Do you think the public doesn't understand, appreciate the reality of works, ongoing works? I mean, you face so much criticism, people say that... Amlu sërvej, amlu sërvej. But I mean, from your, we'll do a survey, but from your point of view, you know, you're seen as a tree killer. There was that app recently where you're running around with a chainsaw. Do you feel that people appreciate how much work needs to go in? Nakse fil li iva, Ovviament s-a jitkelmu n-nis, metaj kollu mi-ċans, n-nis jitkelmu jaf u l-kommenti. Wakt li għaddi għaddi l-intervista, fuq l-posta xol, fil-ċina, n-nis jitkelmu. Ta jeb, għamat n-nis jitkelmu fil-elezzjoni, jitkelmu jek eċemplu l-om, tablu m-servi, u taħdu m-isma. Kuntenti bix-xoli jiet li għaddi, u jiet bu kom n-nis mux jien, jien għetna m-xoli. Jista jikun li minix perfett, minu perfett, naħseb asentimenti, ħatmu perfett, għatna men xoħali, issa jekkinnis, jekkinnis jonzu pomsiju għal li lomti issa siju. Pero jennirċi fi ħafna kommenti pozitivi, imma jinstema bis, jew jinstema ħafni zjed, innegattiv. U l-media kultant, ovvjament, tkun trit ta' engagea, u bix iġib ċertu engagement fuq social media, iktar izi ikollok title fuq xiħħħħħ negattiva mili fuq xiħħħħ pozitiva, let's face it. So how do you take these memes? Like when you show up in a meme or something, what do you take it? You laugh at them? Nitħħħ, 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 nitħħ, 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 u għamlu li ċismu għatni laba maħħu. U baħt konti għat ma David take fuq 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 l-għaw l-artikej ma jindru għat soppardi. U għalli għalli jinti jekt il-trattu min nis tuħad bilo min-lumi u taħi dilo min-dejqin. Ju għasħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħ
Have you been on it? Have you seen it yet? Ma li rajt atħal, teħe. Basically, li li rajt u għali waqt li data edha kolla fil-planning authority website ta komanda interface iktar friendly. Ġiviri dik rajt. Ma uzaj ta darba bix nara xini u da seq ma nafx. Do you think, I mean, obviously we did it because so many people find it so hard to understand the planning authority's website. So as you said, the interface can make all the difference. But do you think it was, you know, something that Malta needed? As you said yourself, it made it under easier to understand kind of what's going on. Yen ma naħxib xil li l-lis fi detal planning u ma l-nis ma jkunu xiafu xseja mel ta ma ġembom. Iġviri, iġviri, lawanet jima il-lis entejn mux min s-sutal planning u mux xanet kellem fisa min min s-sutal planning. Pero, ma naħxib xil l-problema ija the lack of information. Naħxib l-problema ija li rdun kumplu għal journal with policies. U kif għamilna, xie ħħġa ta' jibu ħafna, kienet illi, for the very first time, il-finanzi fil-budget inċentivaw lil-min jibni sabiħ, jibni tradizjonali bil-gallari maltin, bil-ġabla maltija, etc. Mux konkret. U lil-min jihu xsieb jirriġenera il-bini antik void illi għanna fil-bliħtun huwa taħħu. Very important. Jina seb dawk li ta' importanti. Issa jekk il-tool ta' kom jekk tar friend li u tajn il-nies, why not? Go for it. So on the planning authority itself. U naħsef il-qettintuza jina. We've got some good feedback, especially from people who needed it, you know, especially the people who were caught up. Per i professionals jaffu jużaw tal planning authority. Imma min ma jikollux aċċess, ma jikollux EID, etc. Ta' kom naħsef il-li xaj sibu ħafni ktar friendly. So you just said, you know, the planning authority, it's been a couple of years since you were involved with him leading it. But, you know, now that you're out of it and looking in, you know, what are some of the issues and challenges that the planning authority has? Is there an area that it really needs to develop on? Challenges, you know, that's what we need to do. And the people who have the property, they need to develop power. And the people who have the property, they need to develop power. Ovvjament li du jgħodu għattenti li li ta' maġen bom jibni xie ħħġa tkun aċċettabli. Xie dik jgħa li sfida, ma imma dak ma għandu xie kun il-planning, xie fjena proper planning. Jiena nejt, ikun xie l-metro, ikun xie any other form of mass transport or transport network. Xattina opportunita, xġġara f'dal pajis. F'pajis joħra lewe l-gollok transport network. Unbaħt il-planning jippermetti lek tibni fejn inta għandek il-transport aċċessibli. Malta lel, Malta għamilna 60 sena kull ħad bena kull l-unkien. U issa għetna diskutu l-metro, ġbi dik il-realta, u issa għetna raw, jekkux feasible għal-zurriq, jekkux feasible għal-naxxar, jekkux feasible għal-awdex, ġbi dak il-li għamilna Malta, bħala pajis issa, mux bħala għvern laburista nazjonalisti, ġbi dik il-li għaddej jazmin għabell l-independenza di. ġviri u dini għal sfida tal planning authority u ma anke l-ownership fragmentation li għandek fil-pajis dik jgħaf problema enormi ġvi namlu mot najt u sma per eżempju sawa ena għabdu areas fejn għandek bini ikrax ta' disa solari u jisiru u jisiru torriet li imma jgħatu spazju miftuħ u fluħi kolluk u xrin blokka ta' disaj kolluk tlet blokki ta' xrin etna ti eżempju sewa ma tistax ta' amela b'dal pajis jaw impossibli ta' amela għalix dawk l-appartamenti kolla u ma ownerships differenti għattifem ġifiri the proper regeneration kif 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 jif muha l-periti u l-artisti u u għanke ditti barranin, diffiċi ta' għamela maħal ta' maħabba l-ownership challenges illi għanna, unba tħidħlu l-artijt tal-gvern, l-artijt tal-knisja, eġifiri ma t-spiċa għat, eġifiri dikja għahda mi challenges naħseb jint tal-planning, eġifiri min għandu, di per eżempju, bat kru ħati b'dejħu r-retratti, u jkollu mraġun, għax jidru koroħ. Ma, inti kollok, per esempju, tlet faċċati ta 10 meters iċ, u mba ti kollok faċċata ta 3 meters. Tak ta 3 meters, sorta bni, ja? Ima, xie għamil ta 3 meters, ma jibni, xie għandu 3 bis, 
jekk ta' attenta ma' ġenbu ma' jirġi bieħlu jew ma' jistaw xiftiemu, ċfid daħu għal paj, u daħu jibdew jihorġu mbaħt l-affarijiet il-koroħ fl-għaj. Exact, but then we end up with a country full of eyesores, all these skinny, random buildings everywhere. Għattifem, għattifem, iġifiri low ownership, iħa challenge naħseb, ma' rafx kif tista' solvi, għan kunu nest, iġifiri, pero, jidher li dil-li sfida kul ħati rikonoċija, per eżempju, aħna, etnu zaw il-local plans, ta' 2006. Meta Bernard Gregg għal, kietla l-PN, għajna xie local plans, xie jibda l-local plans, jaw jek. La, da ħarreċ jame statement, il-li isma, infetem tħazin, jien ħanżom il-local plans ta' 2006. Xie il-problema, miħġ da' sek faċt l-solvi, ja? Kem il-gvernu, kem l-oppozizjoni, so moving on to the end of the interview, just a final few topics. Climate change. I wanted to speak to you a little bit about climate change very briefly. So kind of, what's your view on climate change? Is it real? Are you skeptical? I mean, Donald Trump, you've got multiple leaders who are very skeptical. But you, so, okay, but you fully agree with that. I don't think that the skepticism is climate change. And I don't think that it's not that it's not that it's different. How to tackle it? u naħseb illi mekka nisfidi għbar, pero maħal ta' għana firmatari ta' ta' diversi trattati, jekkux ta' Pariġi, jekkux il-commitments li għanna għati u level u naħseb illi we're doing our part issa, bizzejjet ovjament maħal ta' partizera mid-dinja emma l-partizani għadu namlu għu kod u naħseb illi għadu namlu għu għu dal budget xaseb xafna fafariġiet for example, we're going to lead by example, and we're going to electrify the, the, the bus fleet, the, 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 the grand stand, oh, the most generous, you know, mm, mm. um, great. We're giving thousands of euro, al minirit, you scrap your carotza, we use three, we have electric, you know, and we have a set to the other, oh, the, 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 Shipping. Major pollutants. The projects that you oversaw, so Marsa Flyover, for example, do you feel like they led to a bettering or worsening of climate change conditions in Malta? No, I think that the NASA emissions are not the first thing about infrastructure projects, not the metro. They are not the first thing about the first metro. They are not the first thing about the first thing about the metro. Jina, xo li kien illi nikku misjona dal rapport, issa, nemmen imma li għanna bżon, emas transport system, jina uġej għawnek għaddejt mil-mini ta' Santa Venera. With the lights very bright still, or they've adjusted them? They're just good, I think. Talan, għas illu mekkienu, imma meta kienu fil-bidu, la għas ċans nissetti għawom, jġi biħi da, If the drivers are going through, we're talking about safety. If the drivers are going through, we're talking about safety. Issa għu ma' safe, jġi biħi, kif kienu qabel, u meta ġie l-papa namlu biċa plastik biċ ma joqċi jidropja l-ilma għax l-papa miksi naħdej min il-pop mobil iġi firi, daw kizminiet sum, għala fi molta ma kienix t-assisti da kizmin għax forsi kifu kon tu t-kellmu l-ċensu għalja u l-lost in gat, t-insejt min kien Anyway, naħseb il-li jamlu biċa xo l-tajba għaf l-infrastructure maħan t-turi fair biċ dem Jekk inti t-ħares em plakka jekk fejdijat ħafna 1992 1992, il-Partit Nazjonalista kien fetaħ Santa Venera Tunnels, Complex Veloppa Regional Road. U emmek il-Partit Nazjonalista kien ħaseb illi solva l-problema ta' traffic għal dejjem. Jekk jien, għax għamilt il-Marsa Junction, għax għamilt il-Central Link, għax għamilt l-Underpass ta' Santa Lucia, għax għetnamlu il-Flyover ta' għalk il-Kwop, għax għetnamlu il-Pjanijeta għal-Limrije, naħzbu illi Dawn mu mix sej fallu in 10, 15, 20 years time jekk ma namluċ inizjattiv joħra biex innis ma tip għax dependenti fuq il-karotza privata inku għat nizbal jaw u għalek għat nejdu irbaħna jissa ftit ta' zmien b'dawn il-proġetti ej jan jħdu xsieb illi ma jħġuċ 10, 25 10, 15, 20, 25 years joħra u minu kum ministru jaj tara jissa għan għamel Mina taħt il-flyover, flyover fuq il-flyover, xan u essis jiet il-toroq. Irridu naħzbu kif il-nis ma tib għax tib depend dibis l-karza privata. So you're seeing these large projects of yours. Pero, lan qas naqbel ma min jajid li għallu għax ma milċi l-metro ma l-lewe, flok għatta mel-dawa. 
So, so you're seeing these projects, all these road projects, widening projects, kind of as giving us a bit of space, breathing room to... short, medium, long-term solutions. Mass transport, public transport for all, free. Oma in long term. Vision, Emma, a redo is Sanahdmu for Dow Clintia TV. Is that Kunsh Metro, Kunsh Bus Rapid System, Namlu, Namlu Likonem Zon, Mush, Mush Hatman do anything custom stone, Lidal Model, Yodal Model. So if we don't do the Metro, if we don't do the rapid bus transit system, would all this road widening that you've overseen have been for nothing? Just a lot of nuisance for drivers? Le, le. If we don't end up taking advantage, what if we don't take any of these le. major et projects? Le. Le. Et itun, ra, toro is yet efficient, illum, ah, that's an adirla, sent in or at Litora. Emma Mushal deem, yek, il maltin, if oish to turtmen in carrots, I will you. Of course. So uh, I wanted to talk the last thing on climate change, you know, um, uh, if you look at the metro renders, for example, in Imsida, it seems like one of the stations is smack dab in the area where it floods. And on the other side of the, 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 the spectrum, you know, in summer, we just came out of a blistering hot summer where an agricultural consultant had spoke about the desertification of Malta, saying that we should start seeing our agricultural products similar to desert like conditions. So clearly climate change is already kind of entering the discussion here. Um, do you feel like we're doing enough as a country, as a government, to stop climate change effects in Malta? Yes, I don't But if we do a fact, we don't have to depend on it. We don't to do it, but we don't have to do it. We don't to do it. But the effects are real. For example, um, Santa, Santa Maria, I was so conti at Limjar, who can have a sent cut a Limjar, who can not deny Knesia, or any Sijra tal tal balut. Oh, Ali Al Etarakatic Sijra, Canella, Kinet Mitted. Ali Dick Down a Sijar call, Ali Low Welder, but I can have zone in Sao. Ali is with us, so to at my Sao, Ali is down, Uma, Sijarta Air Bain, Hamsin Senna. She was much Sijraj D. Dalit Sae Avishta Abat. She was out, DM, they were self sufficient, Fimt. Lowell Darbal is a Eom, or Shorta can loo, Wahda limited. She very, oh, a real tali, Lily, in Nishfa, Lilma, the as proportionate one to the Eo, she very, down, what a real tie it. So I want to close off the interview with uh, a couple of quick fire questions. I don't want to get caught up in the, I have like five or oh, six right. here. A few more, but let's make them very, 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 very quick. So <laughs> if you can just give me a yes or no. Well, I don't know. <laughs> yes or no. Uh, and then just back a, if read, there, yeah. there you go. Well, well, fast. Let's do it very, very fast. So I'm just going to jump into it. So cannabis legalization bill. The government came forward, very imp impressive, progressive um, uh, proposals to legalize <laughs> cannabis up to seven grams, four plants per household. What's your reaction to that? Yena at my pay, but I accept that it's about time to go into the legislation. So you're, you're in favor of this kind of proposals. Party financing. Do you believe that the current setup allows businessmen to have too much influence and power over parties? Yena accept that it depends on me. I don't think it's not necessary. When you do party um, state financing, you don't solve it. The problem is in short, I don't know if it's a problem. I don't know if it's a problem, but I don't know if it's influence the businessman. I don't know if state financing, I don't know if it's a problem. I don't know if it's a problem, I don't know if it's a problem, I don't know if it's a problem, I don't know if it's a problem. But I don't know if it's a problem. This week, Conrad Mitzi appeared back in the news. Um, obviously, he was seen as disrespecting the Public Accounts Committee by refusing to testify. Do you feel the same way? Should he have been forced to testify? No, I think Conrad Mitzi is an adult and he made a decision. But it isn't disrespectful to the country? Conrad Mitzi is not a part of the party laborist, but he is not a part of the parliament. He is not a part of the party. Are you still in contact with Joseph Muscat? When was the last time you spoke to him? Joseph Muscat is a political leader. Joseph Muscat is a political leader. He is in contact with him. 
dawn huma nies illi llum mhumiex fil-ħajja pubblika u ma tagħmilx differenza jiena u kwalunkwe persuna oħra li nitkellem naħseb. Però Joseph Muscat huwa persuna li f'ċertu okkażjonijiet tiltaqa miegħu tieħu pjaċir tisma' mela jiġi fi Joseph huwa mexxej illi illi għamel xogħol vera l-pajjiżnu. Do you think Motu will get off the grey listing by the end of 2022? Kif għatlek fil-bidu, naħseb li ħatt taħjar min Robert Abela u Klajt Karwana ma jistaw meċxuna of the grey list. And finally, bring us to the end of the interview, you know, have you voted for the Love of Motu Social Media Awards yet? Konn sa nevvota u għalu li tittit tħol flog Julian biex nibda l-intervista. Xa nevvota, xa nevvota. Tisa qox tisa qsin il-min issa, xa nevvota. No, I have to ask you a quick one. We have some great categories. We have Best Overall Content Creator, for example, has Bisserjeta, John Malia, Sarah Zarafa, Sarah Alfalla, Valentin Rossi, and Bjorn Formosa. Would you choose any of these as the Best Overall Content Creator? Iħiħ na Roma, għem xie t-nejma għat ma t-xekajt. Allura, ma jax jimtu f-bajest. Ian Borg, thank you so, so much for coming here today. We really appreciate your time and your honesty with us. Um, uh, guys, let us know in the comments below what you thought of the interview, whether you have any questions for the minister yourself that we can ask in a follow-up interview. Once again, thanks for so much for coming in today. Thank you, John. That brings us to the end of today's episode of Love and Daily. As always, have an evening full of love.